last time it was a, I participated in a, in a boys, uh, one of the boys' classes in Jalazon camp, which is one of the camps that has, has been quite badly affected by, by violence. There's a settlement right next to, to the camp. And uh, last year there were some incidents where, where children actually got, got shot from the, from the guard posts uh, located next to the settlement. So, very tense situation in that camp. When you, when you know, when you have a pressure cooker that is always being applied with more and more heat, eventually it'll, it'll burst and you'll get kids going out and doing things that might get them into trouble. If you have a valve which allows them to let off steam, let off energy, but in a very positive way, I think that has an immediate effect. The kids as well need, need particular attention. They need to be able to find avenues where they can, uh, can focus their energies and their frustrations and their tensions in a, in a, in a productive way, in a positive way. And uh, certainly what we've seen with the, with the capoeira is that uh, that's exactly what they're, they're able to do. The capoeira has really uh, taught them the, uh, the self-control and the discipline, the courage really needed to, to, come to, to, to face the, the day-to-day -day situation that they, they have in, in the camp. It's a bad situation here. Um, we sometimes say it, uh, the forbidden area, even in all Palestine, because the, the camp come uh, in between. It's Israeli and, uh, under Israeli authority, and uh, at the same time, Palestinian authority can't come here. And it's in the West Bank, so it's, uh, it's confusing for them. Uh, even uh, like ambulance, they can't enter here. They have to stay and wait people to, at the checkpoint. Most of uh, the children here are uh, very aggressive, having a very aggressive attitude, and then that coming back from uh, the background they have, uh, they don't have a place to play. Uh, they have a big family. They have uh, uh, beaten, um, uh, aggressive language in, in every way. So that makes every action they do in playing is very aggressive. The way they act in Cabuera, make them um, discharge all of these aggressive movements and also they play with it and they enjoy it and they like it. We use capoeira also to uh, change some attitudes in the boy. Like capoeira is every two boys uh, working together. Most of the boys don't want to work together but within capoeira they have to do it and they have to play uh, in front of each other. And anything they like uh, they uh, do, they um, enjoy, they give them some hope. And they hope Kabbalah gives hope. <laughs>